All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. In this video, we're going to talk about something very, very serious in the world of boxing uh, related to Terrence Crawford, uh, Daniel Kinahan, Al Heyman, and what will more than likely be happening with Terrence Crawford's career moving forward if he's smart. Let's talk about that in this video. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. We are going to talk about a really, really big, 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 big event that took place in boxing today. Not in the ring, but outside the ring in the business world of boxing. But be sure that it is something that is going to have big ripple effects in the sport of boxing. And that is the president of the United States, Joe Biden, uh, basically uh, declaring it illegal to do business with anybody, uh, uh, anything associated with Daniel Kinahan and an organization out of Ireland, which would also potentially affect uh, Probellum, MTK Global, and any fighter that is being advised by them, which includes Terrence Bud Crawford, according to what Bob Arum had stated. Now, before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. Uh, if you are a longtime subscriber to the channel or a new subscriber to the channel, thank you so much for participating in the community. If you're not, please accept my invitation to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. All right. So first and first and foremost, let me tell you, I told you so. And I told you so last year when I did a video, which was, I have to say, was ridiculed by a whole lot of people where I said that. Uh, there was going to be a RICO investigation on anybody associated with Daniel Kinahan, and that included Tyson Fury at the time. People laughed and said, ha, 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 what happened to that investigation that you were talking about? Yap, 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 right? Where are your sources for this? Yap, yap, yap. Well, today, boom in your face is exactly what I was talking about because the United States of America has put out a $5 million reward for any information leading to the arrest of a, of a very prominent boxing figure, the advisor of Tyson Fury, the advisor of Ter Terrence Crawford, a man named Daniel Kinahan. Something that I told you was going, was going on about a year ago. Now, why is he being investigated and what does this have to do with something we care about in the sport of boxing, which is what Terrence Crawford is going to do next in his career? Well, Terrence Crawford, it had been rumored, was in negotiations with obviously with Floyd Mayweather, excuse me, with um, the PBC, but also there was a chance that he would be signing with Pro Bellum, that he was being advised by Daniel Kinahan. Well, I think it's safe to say that if Terrence Crawford has any common sense at all, and by that I mean the common sense God gave a goose, he will not be doing business with Probellum. He will not be doing business with being advised by Daniel Kinahan. If he does, he runs, he runs, I can't tell you what risks he runs because all of the sanctions and all of that stuff has not come out yet. However, it is safe to say that as he has mentioned this, it is now pretty much illegal for anybody in the United States from this point forward to do any business with any businesses that are that are connected to Daniel Kinahan because it is considered to be a criminal organization. Like I said last year, there was going to be an investigation on anybody involved in that. And that is exactly what is taking place. So if Terrence Crawford was thinking about going to Probellum, that avenue has just for, like I said, if he's got the common sense God gave a goose, it has absolutely cut off the potential of doing that because you don't know what is going to happen down the line if, it, if they wind up finding that there's a direct connection between him and that organization 
and any monies paid to anybody by that organization. Because one of the major things that they are saying about that organization is that they are used for money laundering. And if you are familiar with that money laundering at all, they will pay people money to clean money. Pay, paying fighters, uh, boxers, I'm not gonna go into the details of it, but you get my, you get my drift. That is something that Terrence Crawford is going to want to stay as far away from as he possibly can, just like Bob Arum did. Because when Bob Arum and the news came out about this, Bob Arum immediately said that they are going to disassociate themselves with MTK Global, that they are going to disassociate themselves from ProBellum or anybody else that has anything to do with that. Because again, Bob Arum has the sense that God gave a goose and is going to get as far away from that as you possibly can when the president of the United States says that it is their mission to find the person and arrest them. That means that they are going to go through everybody in that network, anybody that is signed as a fighter to them, anybody that is signed as a manager to a fighter there, Anybody like, say, for example, the WBC, who just last week talked about how they were perfectly fine with him and that, you know, they were going to judge people at face value. Well, let me let me assure you, if the WBC is putting on fights in the United States with fighters that are managed by MTK Global or promoted by Pro Bellum, they are going to have a sniffer on them. Believe it. They are going to investigate every dollar, more than likely every dollar coming in and out of there. And like I said, it's something I told you was going to happen last year. Got a lot of sweat about it. A lot of jokes and a lot of a lot of lot of lot of lot of, lot of giddy laughter about the fact that I said, man, look, Tyson Fury is Tyson Fury is going to be un, under investigation by the U.S. government for his connection with Daniel Kinahan and money's paid to him, all of that stuff. And that is exactly what they're doing. If you and not that they released any secret information out there, but just by the fact that they that, you know, they have issued a five million dollar reward for any information that leads to the conviction of him. So, you know, that they are doing other things other than just offering that major. They're offering that major money because they want people to feed into that investigation which is definitely taking place. So if I'm Terrence Crawford, I immediately try to find my home as close to home as possible. If he cannot sign with Bob, re-sign with Bob Aaron, which I don't think is an option, Eddie Hearn, uh, Eddie Hearn, those guys, and I, I know that they are not at odds. Those are two different organizations, but Eddie Hearn says that he doesn't have the money or doesn't have the fights necessary for him. Uh, I don't know. And honestly, man, this is going to affect a lot of people at top rank because that affects Josh Taylor, who's advised by him. It would affect. And also, I do believe affects Eddie Hearn because he's got fighters that fight under match room, fight under match room. If they're going to actually be airing that and doing that stuff in the United States, if they're doing it over there in the UK, I can't I can't tell you about it. But any of those guys coming over to the United States that are managed by those organizations, Man, that is just going to be something if you, like I said, you're just going to want to stay away from because you do not know the depths of that investigation or want to get tied up into something as, ma as major as that. So I personally predict that Terrence Crawford is going to, if he's going to sign with anybody, is going to be a U.S.-based promoter. It's not going to be pro bellum. It's not going to be, uh, it's more than likely not going to be, um, uh, he's not going to be advised by Daniel Kinahan or have connections with Daniel Kinahan. If he's smart, he's going to basically stay at home. And I would suspect that the smartest thing that he could do is if, is he's going to either sign with Oscar De La Hoya, he's going to sign with, or, uh, he's a golden boy, top rank or the PBC. And the smartest move for him is the PBC. But anyway, it's just a wild, wild course of events, man. And I cannot underestimate, even though I do not have the full deal details of it. All I'm telling you is I was told around the time that that administration came in from people that I consider to be reliable sources that they were going to be investigating and looking into that stuff very, very, very seriously. So it is what it is, man. We'll see what goes on from here. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.